This is a video tutorial for the emery mitten pattern. I am going to show you how to join the ends of the cuff and then also how to complete rounds one, two, and three. So I am making a woman's size medium and I just finished my cuff and I am ready to join the ends together. So I am going to remove my hook from my work. And this is, this is the uh, row that I just completed. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm going to fold this in half so the foundation row is on top of that last row that I just completed. I am right-handed, so if you're left-handed, you'll be going the opposite way. Um, so let's, let me show you here. So we fold it in half so our foundation row is on top of that last row that we made. And I'm going to insert my hook into that first foundation chain loop and then into my work again. And I'm gonna make a slip stitch. Okay, now we are ready to slip stitch the two edges together. So we, I will insert my hook into the next foundation chain loop on the front edge and then into the back loop of the next stitch on the back edge and that is this loop back here. This is the front loop, that's the back loop. So insert your hook into the next foundation chain loop on the front edge, and then into the back loop of the next stitch on the back edge and then make a slip stitch. We're just gonna do this all the way down. So insert your hook into the next foundation chain loop on the front edge, and then into the back loop of the next stitch on the back edge, and then make a slip stitch. So through the foundation chain loop and into the back loop and make a slip stitch. So I'm gonna keep going. So I'm gonna remove my hook and set that aside. This is what it should look like after joining the two ends together. And we do have a bit of a seam here, but the uh, cuff will be flipped up at the end. And when you flip it up, you don't really have any seam. Okay. All right, so we are ready to begin round one. And again, I'm making the woman's medium, so I am going to switch to an H five millimeter hook. So I'm gonna insert my hook back into my work and we are ready to begin round one. So in this round, we'll start with a chain one and the chain one never counts as a stitch in this pattern. Um, and then we are going to work two half double crochet, the very end in between two rows. So from one, line or rib to the other is two rows. So you'll work two half double crochet at the very end in between those two rows. We'll do that all the way around. And then when you get to the end, you will just work two half double crochet in the very at the very end of the last row here. And then you will join to the top of your first stitch with a slip stitch. So let me show you. So let's chain one. I'm gonna make two half double crochet at the very end in between these two rows. Make your uh, half double crochet somewhat loose 
in round one. Um, if you make them too tight, it'll make round two a little bit harder. So try and make them kind of loose. Not too loose, just a little loose. Um, okay, so I made two half double crochet in between the first two rows. Now we're gonna make two half double crochet at the very end in between the next two rows. We're gonna do this all the way around. It should look like this so far. See, there's two half double crochet. There's two half double crochet. All right, we're ready for two more, two more half double crochet right here. Okay, and then two more in between the next two rows. Right, we're gonna do this all the way around. Okay, so we are to our last row here. We're gonna place two half double crochet at the very end of that last row. So we only did 27 rows when we made the cuff and we're ending with 28 stitches. So, so two half double crochet in that last, end of that last row. Now we are ready to join and we will make a slip stitch in the top of our first stitch to join. All right. So we are ready to begin round one, or round two, sorry. Let me show you too uh, what this looks like up close. Okay, so for round two, we begin with a chain one, and we're gonna skip the first stitch, which is this half double crochet right here. And we are going to work up front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet in the next stitch. Then we'll skip the next stitch, make a back post double crochet in the next stitch. And we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around. Okay, so skip the first stitch. Front post double crochet. Well, let me show you how to do a front post double crochet in case you forgot or you've never done one before. So you yarn over. So we're going to skip that first stitch. Insert your hook from front to back to front around the whole post of the stitch. You're not working into the top of the stitch. You're going around the post. Yarn over, pull through your work. So you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now we are going to make a back post double crochet in that same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook from back to front to back around the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull through your work. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And now we are ready for our front post double crochet in the same stitch. And when you make this, try and work below, a little below that back post double crochet that you just made. I think that makes it easier. So yarn over, Insert your hook from front to back to front around that post. Yarn over, pull through your work. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So it should look like this. You should kind of see a V. So here you have your two front post stitches and then the back post stitch in the middle. So we're gonna skip the next stitch is this stitch right here. And we're gonna work a back post double crochet in the next stitch. So we yarn over, skip the stitch, insert your hook from back to front to back around the post. 
Yarn over, pull through your work. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Skip the next stitch. Work a front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet into the next stitch, just like we did before. So skip the next stitch, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and again, try and try and work a little below that front post double crochet that you just made. Okay, and another front post double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, back post double crochet in the next stitch. So it should look like this so far. Okay, let's keep going. So skip the next stitch and back front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet in the next stitch. And I call this stitch here the Emery Cluster Stitch because I came up for it, or I came up with it for my uh, Emery Beanie. So you, that pattern is available um, on Etsy and also on rubywebscrochet.com. Okay, so skip the next stitch, back post double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet. All right, it should look like this so far. Okay, skip the next stitch, back post double crochet in the next stitch. All right, so we are just going to keep repeating that whole sequence. It's in brackets. Skip the next stitch, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet all in that same stitch. Okay, skip the next stitch, back post double crochet in the next stitch. The next stitch, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet. Skip the next stitch, back post double crochet, the next stitch, front post double crochet back post double crochet and another front post double crochet okay i'm getting to the end so i'm going to skip the next stitch and work a back post double crochet in the last stitch and i'm ready to join with a slip stitch to the top of my first stitch and that is this uh, post stitch right here so i'm going to slip stitch on the top that first stitch and I'm ready for round three. And in round three, we are just repeating round two. So in this round, all the cluster of three stitches, the front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet, is always worked into that middle back post double crochet. And then the back post double crochet are always worked into the back post double crochet on either sides of the cluster of three stitches. So chain one, skip the first stitch and work a front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet 
into the next stitch, which is the back post double crochet at the center of the cluster. The next stitch and work a back post double crochet into that back post double crochet. Skip the next stitch and, and work the three stitches into this back post double crochet at the center of this cluster. So skip the next stitch, front post double crochet, Post double crochet and front post double crochet. Skip the next stitch, back post double crochet into the next stitch. So it should look like this so far. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. So skip the next stitch, front post double crochet. Back post double crochet and front post double crochet. Again, in this round, when you're making the three stitches, after you make the first front post double crochet, then try and work below, you know, that next stitch or the stitch that you just made. Okay, back post double crochet in the next. Skip the next stitch, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, front post double crochet. Skip the next stitch, back post double crochet. Skip the next stitch. Post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet. Skip the next stitch, back post double crochet. All right, I'm getting close to my end. Skip the next stitch, back post double crochet, skip stitch, front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post double crochet. Skip the next stitch, back post double crochet in the last stitch, and we are ready to join. Okay, and again, you're joining to this post stitch here. That's your first stitch. So make a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, so for the woman's size small, you're gonna repeat that round one more time. Um, and then, which is basically round two, you're just repeating round two. Um, and then for the woman's medium, you will repeat round two two more times, um, and then you will move on to making the thumb hole. So I hope you enjoy the pattern. Thank you so much.